turn my thingies up. Alright, I don't know how delayed I'll be, guys, so let me know if you can hear me. Drop my beer all over the floor. Let me see this chat opt in. I know there's a setting I can do as well. One second. No, we don't want to do that. Hello, Geraldine. You alright, Chris? How's it going, buddy? Nice to see you here, mate. First in. Hello, Rob. Well, 25, 34 people in here. Hello, Shaggy. I haven't done one of these for a while, guys. A bit nervous. A bit nervous, I can't lie. Hello Leighton, it's Boothy, afternoon brother, how's things? Very good, very good, it's a lovely summer's day so I'm happy, I've just been doing a bit of work in the garden. Uh, can everyone hear me okay, yeah? Let me know if the audio is fine. Alright Mick, how's it going? I am uh, hope you're not sandblasting in this weather mate, that would be murder wouldn't it? Uh, L440, Eddie, Eddie, hello mate, hello Joseph, hello Lillian, nice to see you here as well. Yeah, it's been a while, I'll try and not stick my finger in the screen. Rob says it's too hot. It's boiling, isn't it? Absolutely boiling. I've, I'm trying to dig some stuff in the garden, but it's hot. It's really hot. Hello, Crow. Hello, Scott. Beautiful day, isn't it? Audio's great. Buzzing. Nice one. Hello, Catherine. Hello, Jeremy. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon, says Neil, loud and clear. That's what I liked here. Chris says, yeah, chat might go quick now. You're 100K, man. <laughs> yeah, maybe. 69 people in here. Hello, everyone. Nice to see you all. It has been a long time. Uh, Lillian says, listen to you while having my coffee. Oh, nice. What time is it over there, Lillian? I don't know, what, what time is it even here, actually? Is it about three? 20 past three here in the afternoon. Uh, where are we? I don't have my computer next to me this time, so I'm going to have to try and scroll up so I don't miss anyone. Chris says, hey, Sid. Hope all's well with you and your family. Yeah, everyone's good, mate. Thank you very much. Same to you as well. RG external cleaning. Hi, Sid. Love the new setup. Me too, man. I love it. Absolutely love it. Robert says, where's your ice cream? I don't know, the ice cream man hasn't been around yet. Mick says, book for tomorrow, not looking forward to it. Yeah, it's, I think, is it meant to be 31 degrees tomorrow? I think. Um, I've got a pressure washing job to do tomorrow, big, massive one as well, so it's gonna be, gonna be brutal. Yeah, you don't know this, but you've inspired me to start my own business. Got a GX390 from Rumpman Pumps, brilliant. Great machine as well, you cannot go wrong with that engine. That will last you many years. I mean, my one, my old one is a 390 and that's a year old. Um, I think I said in a video, it's like, that's like a week old in pressure washing terms, man, it'll last forever, especially with a Honda engine. Hello, Deborah, all the way from Jamaica. Thanks for tuning in. Can Western Canada, San Diego, thank you very much. Drew says, hi, pal, great work. You doing, I'm a jet washing business too, but struggling. To be honest, mate, it's been a little bit quiet this year. I mean, I'm in my second year of pressure washing business. I don't want to lose this chat. Um, but it seems a little bit quiet this year. I'm, luckily, I'm still busy, but definitely not what I plan to be, put it that way. Um, so I feel your pain. It's, uh, I think we've all got to maybe step up our marketing a bit, who knows. Hello, Elizabeth. She says, oh my God, hi, love you. Pressure washing videos, thank you. Um, Leighton says, because you human changed my outlook on life, I'm joking, that's awesome to hear, man. It really is, so, uh, but it's nothing to do with me, mate. It's all your own mindset, so I'm proud of you, well done. Uh, hello, Darren, hello, Chris. How do I pressure wash the kids? Yeah, tell me about it. Yeah, my uh, youngest daughter was in a right mess last night. There was, uh, as you can imagine, everywhere all in the bed, so I did think it did cross my mind. Hello, cats. Shaggy, what's the PWS system saying? Might get their, might get their hot water system, as mine is only hot box is too big. Um, it's good, they do, like, you can have everything built up slowly over time, which I thought was pretty cool. So yeah, check them out, they are really good. I mean, I don't want to give a full recommendation to everyone yet, because I'm still, only if, only a week really into the new system, but give it a month and then I'll be able to say for sure if these guys are legit. And I think they are, to be honest, it seems great. Hello, Quentin, good afternoon. A question to get the conversation started. If you're near the coast, have you looked at cleaning boat halls in the winter? I'd love to do it. I'm just kind of, I'm not near the coast, but I'm just kind of waiting for someone to get in contact and I'd def definitely do it. Uh, thank you, Neil. 10 a.m. over there, 10.20 here in Michigan, Nine, 19 in Florida. There's just starting for you folks then. Hello, Simon, hello, Scott. Uh, Jack says, I swear I saw you in Telford on Friday. No, I don't think, oh, where was I? I yeah, it wasn't me anyway, I don't think so. No, it couldn't have been me. Um, Titan Mike says, have a day off, mate. I oh, know, I do try. Hello, Ray, how's it going, mate? There's Ray from the WhatsApp group in there. Nice to see you, buddy. 
Uh, Robert says no drainage issues in this weather. That's the bonus of it because everything dries out so quick. Um, you can just sit in the van for half an hour and all the puddles have gone. So, uh, Yell Yeel Yeel Yelly says, hey Sid, hello. Murta says, good morning. Uh, Eddie says, how to clean white marble gravestone. Um, gone blackish. Can't get pressure washer there, so just chemicals. I'm not sure. Marble's are very tough though, isn't it? It's a really tough stone, so yeah, sodium hypochlorite, double check it though. I would double check it because I'm not too sure on that, I'll be honest. Hello, Eva. Hello, Trin, Trin in DC. Hello, Helen. 78 people in here. Thanks, everyone. I really appreciate it. Hello, Kat. Cheers, Leighton. Hello, Sophie, all the way from Philippines. Nightblade, want to pop in from Georgia and say thanks for the tips and tricks. My pleasure, my pleasure. Pressure wash your own driver. Yeah, it, it's, it's easier than you think. It just takes a long time. So even if you've got like a really basic machine, it will clean it, it just takes ages. So just be prepared for a long day. Hello Aiden, another boy from the WhatsApp group. Uh, yeah, all good, mate, all good. Hope you're enjoying this weather, mate. It's nothing on uh, South Africa from where you're from though, is it? Uh, hello Darren, love it when you do the playgrounds. Yeah, I'm actually linked up with the people that run a lot of the playgrounds now. So hopefully I should start getting a lot more come my way as well, which will be cool. Um, thanks Sandra. RG says, question, looking to get into making videos for YouTube. I have no idea how to start, any suggestions? Got a big roof scrape this week. Just got to start, mate. That's all it is. Um, it'd be easy to give a million tips, but you'll find your own rhythm. You'll find your own sort of schedule that you want to do. Um, I'd recommend getting in front of the camera eventually. You don't have to do it straight away, but I would recommend it eventually because it does definitely help because people like to see who they're... I think I'm in front of the camera a little bit too much so people get annoyed, but people like to see who's doing the job, you know? So um, definitely helps build up like a bit of a personality behind the channel as well. So my voice is cracking like crazy. Um, going through puberty, I think, guys. Finally. Come to Brighton, it's hot, hot, hot here today. Yeah, I don't know what it is here, but it is baking, that's why I'm in the shade. Shaggy says, thanks mate. Just they're closer to us in the Midlands. Going to Rutland pumps all the time as a mission. Yeah, I imagine. I think Rutland is about an hour and something away from me. PWS is about 40 minutes. So, I mean, it, the distance I didn't really mind about, but um, yeah, I just, I like those guys, so. Hello, Booth. Crow says, about a bit more quiet. Could it be the aftermath of COVID? Yeah, I reckon so. I reckon a lot of people are saving their money, to be honest. Um, I have noticed that. Yeah, so yeah, you, you're right about that, I think. Hello, Sharon. Nice to see you there. Riri from Seattle. How many people do jet washing nowadays? Oh, so many people do jet washing nowadays. Yeah, I know there's loads, but there's, as long as you do a good job, your business will build. Um, how do you price your work by hour or square foot? Usually meter squared, but a lot of the time I just sort of throw in a what I think it is. Um, you know, put a day rate in there or something like that, but bigger jobs I'll do by meter squared. Um, Elizabeth said, what's the plan today? Nothing, this is it, I'm gonna do this live. I might have to head to the hardware store and get a few more stones um, for the garden and, and that'll be it for me. Hello, Angie. Ray says, good mate, enjoying the sun. Long week in work, but yeah, all good, yeah. Gonna be a busy week next week as well, mate. Just finished watching three videos on the channel, thank you very much. Plague says, love your channel, extremely helpful. How do you get the balls just to get started? That's the thing, isn't it? If, uh, that's the hard part. Once you get started, you've got no choice because you've obviously put money and time into it. So you've just got to make yourself not fail. You know what I mean? Make yourself proud of yourself and you'll be okay. Um, Roby Love says, hi from Texas. Riri says, the channel's therapeutic and kind. Thank you very much. Hello, Miss Mac. Cheers, RJ, RG. Uh, Robert says, have those waterproof sneakers allowed you to walk on water yet? No, but I'm wearing them now, man. I love these things. They're, uh, I'll, see, it's funny, because in the UK, I've never heard of them. They'd, I don't think they, a few people said, oh, we wanted to buy them, but they don't ship to the UK. I'd never heard of them before, but I had so many comments on that video saying, yeah, I've got a pair of those, they're great. So I think they must be quite big in America, but I had no idea, but, but hey, they're worth the money. I think they're like $120 a pair, but worth it. Uh, morning, David. Scott says, have you ever used a Wilkes? Yeah, that was my first machine, Scott. Um, so if you go back to the first pressure washing videos on the channel, they're all done with the Wilkes. Um, so yeah, good machine, man. It's unreliable, but it does the job. Gabriel says, tell my daughter you're Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> Hello, Lily. It's funny, uh, yeah. I've, my missus says that we look similar, I don't agree, but uh, my missus fancies him, so that's probably just why she's saying it. <laughs> Fanny says, hi Sid, uh, just saying hello and how much you enjoy your videos, help me relax through many a dark time. Well, thank you very much. You've uh, been a valuable member of this channel. I always see you commenting and I really appreciate it. So thank you. Josh says, nice day to say Sid. Yeah, all good, Josh. 
Mick says B and Q shuts at four. Uh, I might not go then. Already been once. Already done one trip. Yeah, cost of living going up. I agree. Thanks, Toby. Adam says celebrating E today, so can't stand for long. No worries, mate. Uh, Riri says, how tall am I? I'm 5'11", I think. I haven't measured myself for a long time. Hopefully I haven't shrunk. Um, I'd like to think I'm six foot, but I don't think I am. Um, Sandra says, keep up the good work. Pressure washing so soothing. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you, Cindy. TJ Glenridge, thank you for all the videos. Thank you, mate, appreciate that. And thank you very much, George, as well. What, was it? what did you say? Sorry, excellent is what you deliver. I try my best, I do try my best. Riri says you should drink more water often to prevent a cracking voice. Yeah, oh, I don't have water, but I do have a brew dog beer, so. Thanks for reminding me. Kara says, keep doing what you love. I'll try my best, thank you. 84 people in here now. Hello, everyone. Been live for 11 minutes. Angie says, had to look up Timothy Charlemagne. I agree. To be fair, I didn't really like him that much, but I watched June. Dune, um, the new one, if anyone's seen it. It's actually pretty good, to be fair. Some good acting in it. Same as that latest uh, Stranger Things series as well. That was actually really good. Just finished that last night. That was actually, I was getting a bit, I think end of season two, I started getting a bit bored of it. I was like, I'm not really enjoying it. And then we thought, right, everyone's going on about the new season, so I'll have to catch up. So we watched season three, and then we finished season, is it season four or season three last night? But it was really good, I've got to admit. And, oh, I've missed a few now, sorry guys. Robert says, any more decking videos coming up soon? As soon as I get one, I don't really get many uh, decking jobs, to be honest. I know a lot of other guys on YouTube get them all the time, but yeah, I never really tend to get that many come up. I do like doing them though, so I would, uh, I'd jump at the chance. Polgar UK, welcome, thank you very much. Kenneth says, is this still live? Yep, we're still here, we're only 12 minutes in. Marco says, loving the content. Which of the jobs did you learn? Which of all your jobs did you learn the most? Do you mean like which am I, do I think I'm most knowledgeable on or what job have I done that I've learned valuable lessons from? Um, I'd say I'm best at roof cleaning. Sorry, guys, my voice is going already. I'm probably best at roof cleaning. Um, if there was a job I learned the most, I've done roof cleaning longer, I've done roof cleaning for years, but um, if there was a job I learned the most on for roof cleaning, it would be probably the job I did in Wales um, with old school window cleaners who's on YouTube. Um, yeah, that taught me to never underestimate a job ever again because I thought we'd sail through that. And no, that was, that was tough, really tough. Uh, but I'm ready for another one, so I need to find another roof like that. It was quite fun looking back on it now. Uh, thank you, Lolo. Uh, Kai says, love the vids, which has been your favorite so far. Favorite video? Any of the school ones I do, I love doing the school videos. There was a video I filmed recently when I went down to London. I'm going back on Wednesday, actually, to do a few more bits at that house. Um, but uh, that was a really fun job, mainly because the customers were awesome. Um, I've met some great people. There's John and Jackie as well. I enjoyed their job. That was awesome. Um, Favourite video ever? Probably cleaning the fighter jet, which probably most of you have never seen. For some reason, YouTube just buried it. Um, I think it's because it had, like, bomber jet in the title or something, so YouTube just didn't put it out there. But that was like my favourite video. I was cleaning a, a jet. It was awesome. So go search on search on the channel for that video, man, because it's wicked. Um, and I really tried on that, so it was a real shame YouTube kind of buried it. But aim of the game, isn't it? Uh, sorry, guys, I'm missing a lot here. If I miss your question, just ask it again, and I'll I'll catch it. Um, how far are you from the seaside? I'm pretty much smack smack centre in the middle of England. So either way, probably about three hours to the seaside, maybe two and a half. French and Sun, hello bud. Nightblade, gotta say the amount of moss on rouge you have to deal with is amazing. I'm guessing this is an English thing. Yeah, it's just the climate here, to be honest. And we have loads of concrete roofs, which just help it grow, pretty much. I'll start putting more roof cleans on the channel now, actually. Um, is, that, is that the grapefruit brew dog? Is it? Pale ale? No, it's not. That's the one it is. Uh, do, 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 do. How many years have you been working on pressure washing? Two years now, so nearly two, four years, I think. Maybe a year and a half, to be honest. So still a long way, it's still loads to learn, to be honest with you. I've been looking for that short nozzle used to tidy up. Did you make it yourself? No, it's a purchase it's called an X-Jet. It's actually for applying chemicals, but um, I use it just to rinse sometimes as well, because I just find it under. 
So what have I been most busy with this year, roofs or jet washing? It's been a nice even split, to be honest with you, which is good. That's the way I like it to be. I like 50% pressure washing, 50% roofs, because it's easier on the body as well. Because a lot of the time it's been like 80% roofs, 20% pressure washing, and it's knackering on the body. So I'm glad I've been able to like split it a little bit. Um, sorry guys, missing loads here. Evan says, hope you're well, thank you. Do you enjoy the jobs you film more than the ones you don't? Yeah, typically, like, if I'm filming a job, not all the time, but it's usually a job I'm pretty excited for. Um, Kiara says, what do you put on tills, tiles, after cleaning them to seal them? Um, I don't seal at, the, at this current time. I don't seal anymore anyway. Uh, it's a bit too fickle in this country. You'd love doing my nan's garden. She made them fairy tale locations. Oh, that sounds amazing. Hey, if you ever need anything clean, call me up. Uh, hi, Martin. Christo, hope you're well. Is there any slabs, particularly hypo, that shouldn't be used on? Um, Slabs-wise, not really. You'd have to, I'm trying to think off the top of my head, but if it's natural stone, it's usually fine for hypo. Limestone can be a bit dodgy sometimes, so you'd use like a bit of a weaker mix. But if it's natural stone or it's concrete, hypo is fine. Um, tarmac, no, no, never put tarmac, uh, hypo on tarmac. It'll turn it brown. Um, that's about all I can think of right now. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Ray says, yeah, really good, the fighter jet clean, amazing results. Yeah, cheers, Ray. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Uh, Miss Max had definitely seen the fighter jet vid. Yeah, I just thought it was such a cool video. I was really, like, it took me three months to get, like, sort of permission and clearance to do that job as well. I, like, worked really hard for it because I drive past it all the time. And, uh, yeah, YouTube, man, they, uh, buried it. Cindy says, love the video of where you ha had the camera views of what you see. Yeah, I want to do that a bit more often as well. Hi, Eddie's Gun. So just want to say, I'm still going just from watching your vids and the job is the best I've ever had. Wicked, glad to hear it. Thanks, Clarice, hello. Laura says, I'm not a native speaker, so I don't always understand what you say, but I love your channel. Um, yeah, I'm kind of in the process of thinking about getting an editor in and then because they'd have more time than me to do it, they could put sort of subtitles on the screen as I'm, as I'm speaking, which would be cool, but I don't know if I want to delegate that responsibility because I do like having the channel just, just me, so. Um, but it would definitely help me get better videos out in the long run as well because it's a lot of it's it's tough to do the job, come back, edit the video, upload it, make sure everything's fine as well. So sometimes the creativeness can suffer a little bit, which I don't like. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Um, where am I? Laura said, "Oh no, I read that one." Robert says, "What what's one famous building in the UK you would like to clean and why?" Roof of the O2, that would be cool, wouldn't it? That would be cool. That would be a mammoth job. I'd have to probably get a few guys in for that at least. Um, but I don't know really. I'm not sure. I'll have to have a think about that. I've, I've, yeah. What would I clean? I'll think. I'll, I'll think while I'm talking. I'll try and get back to you on that. Um, see you later, Mick. Nice to see you, here, mate. Uh, yeah, they have a workshop. Pirate says, "What's your next statue purpose?" And when's it going to be? Something I'm doing very soon, actually. Um, I've still got loads of them sat in the garden over there. I don't know, you guys might be able to see actually what I'm doing. So over there, there's loads of statues and I'm just digging out a pit. Um, yeah, I need to go back to that yard and see because basically I went there like a few weeks in a row and I basically just bought out all of the interesting stuff. So I'm going to go back. Hopefully their stock was replenished a bit now because that was, it was a bit of fun. But um, and I just need to try and get rid of the statues afterwards. They're hard to get rid of. I've given my mum a couple. I think I've got one more here I need to give my mum as well, but that's about it. Uh, Andrew says, you're having a barbecue tonight. No, I haven't got a barbecue yet. I need to get one. Greg says, your work ethic is exceptional. For any young person looking for inspiration on starting a business, look no far. Thank you, Greg. That's very kind, mate. Too kind. Do you know if Rutland Pumps has a shop you can visit? Uh, yeah, you can go to their, their site, I think. I'm pretty sure. Angie says, any tips on getting ready to power wash my vinyl siding to paint? Any cleaners you suggest? If you're gonna paint over it, um, yeah, again, uh, quite a weak dilution of bleach will help um, after you pressure wash it. You can kind of wet it up, put some bleach on it, then um, rinse it away. That will get most of the surface dirt off, to be honest, but because you're painting it anyway, you can kind of pressure wash it. Don't go too close to it. Um, but yeah, you can pressure wash it, it'll be fine. It's just if you pressure wash the vinyl, it can leave like marks and streaks on it. But if you're painting over it anyway, it doesn't really matter if you leave any streaks, does it? 
Nicholas says, the cost of living people aren't having work done yet. I completely agree. Ian, what's up, mate? From uh, NC, 100K. Thank you very much. 100K, man. I should have my, uh, my plaque arriving soon. I've sent off for it. They said it'll be a few weeks, so any day now, I think it should be here, actually. Connor says, what tarmac restore sealer do you use? Uh, again, I don't really do the, the resealing. I'm too busy on the others. If, if work was slow, I would look into it, but um, because I'm always got something on in the pipeline, I don't really have time to do them, to be honest. So, But I think Pure Seal probably do one. They're a decent company. Smart Seal are a good company. Yeah, I'd probably go Smart Seal because they kind of specialize in stuff like that. So check their website. I'm sure they'll have a good tarmac restore on there for sure. Do you like the farmer's tan, by the way, guys? John says, hi Sid, it's John from the Clean Company Essex. How do we join your WhatsApp group? Unfortunately, I'm not the, the owner of it. So you'd have to uh, get in contact with Lee from Old School Window Cleaners. He's like the gatekeeper for who can get in. So um, I'm just a, just a humble member. Thank you, Riri. Would love for you to jump on a few jobs down with me in Birmingham. Let me know, mate. Just give me a shout. If you've got anything sort of a decent size on, just let me know. If I've got a free day, I'll come help you out. Evening, hi, Pat. Spencer says, what's your thoughts on GK Pro for roofs? Yeah, it's all I use, mate. It's the only one, the only bias I use. I don't use Hypo on roofs personally. You can get brilliant results with Hypo. I just don't like using it above head height. That's just my personal preference. Um, GK Pro is all I use, so yeah, highly recommend. And they don't pay me, so it's a, it's a real recommendation. Elizabeth says, what you put in there in the garden, I'm just digging it out and leveling some stuff off because I'm getting a shed and a, a little decking area that we're going to do. So just putting in the groundwork now. Pirate says, how's Kev doing? Is he enjoy working for you, with you? Yeah, I think so. He's doing well. Um, I send him off to jobs on his own quite a bit now. Just some of the jobs that doesn't need two guys on it, basically, because a lot of the pressure washing jobs that do, you don't need a second pair of hands there. So I tend to go off and do them and I'll get him started on a roof and then I'll join in and help finish it off. Which is why there hasn't been many roof cleans recently, just because he starts it. And obviously I've got all the camera equipment filming my job, so I don't like to film a job halfway halfway through. Dylan says, hey, skip me. What did you say, Dylan? Send it again, mate. Basically the things just disappear really quick off the screen, so I've got to try and catch it quick. Um, let me just have a drink. Fanny says, have you ever had a job that you, despite everything you did, failed to work out as well? It's been loads, loads. I can't even name one because there's been too many. So <laughs> it happens all the time. Some things just don't, they don't want to come up clean. You know, there is ways to do it, but it's what you'd originally quote the job at, for example, and you think it will come up a certain way, then it doesn't. So if that happens, I just don't take payment for the job. So I just have to walk away and I say, look, I could do this, but I'd have to get acid or some other thing to clean it. And a lot of the time they're like, oh no, it looks loads better, don't worry about it. And they'll try and pay, but I'm like, nah, <laughs> I don't want to accept it because I'm not happy with it, you know, but. Um, hello, Nick. Thanks, Elizabeth. John says, do you know how to remove paint splashes on patios, please? Yeah, you'd need some sort of paint stripper, um, first and foremost. You could hard pressure wash it off, that might work. A lot of the times it does work, so um, just get the turbo nozzle on it and it'll go. Miss Max says you need a recovery time after cleaning the roof. Sometimes, if it's a bad one, most of the time, I'm quite used to it now, so most of the time, no, I'm, I'm pretty much fine. But starting out, your first load of jobs, you'll definitely need a few days off. Um, Shaggy says, PA or Sutton are turbos. Either are good, aren't they, I think. I'm not too uh, clued up on the specifics, to be honest with you. Altman says, hi, hi buddy, just saw your Q&A, I was watching F1. All good, mate. How's the, how's the F1 doing? Um... Dylan, go away, mate. What's Dylan done? Uh, so, hello, Nick. Hey, guys. Almost 100 in the live chat. Only 23 likes. Ah, oh, thanks, Angie. 88 eight likes now. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. No tan there, part time. Yeah, I should wear my vest more often, shouldn't I? Evan says, I pay you a lot, mate. Numerous jobs daily in Birmingham. Yeah, just let me know, man. Let me know. If you get a really cool video that's like going to be an incredible transformation, I'll do it for free for a video. So. Hello, Governor. How's it going, mate? Hello, Denise. Nice to see you. Eddie says, how's Lydia and the girls? They're all good. They're off at a baby shower at the moment, so that's why I'm, uh, that's why I'm doing a live, because there'll be no screaming kids. Um, Sid, have you used GK's Dose Demon? Yeah, that's what I use all the time. They've got a new one out, though, so I'm just waiting to see if I can have a blast on that, because I do want to try it. 
Uh, hello, Tonya. Nicholas, got candle wax on my composite decking. I had to clean it off. Ah! Oh, a customer sent me a thing the once and said, oh, I've just got my candle wax off with this. Damn, I've forgotten what it is. You can melt it, of course. That will get it off. Um, use heat. I can't remember what that person used. They might have actually just melted it. Thinking about it, pressure washed it off. I don't know. Sorry, sorry, Nicholas. I wish I could help more. I've forgotten. Shower or bath? Must be a shower, surely. Yeah, I prefer a shower. I didn't have a shower in my house um, up until I was like, until I moved when I was like twenty something. So definitely a shower. Of uh, I do love it. Just always had a bath. Henny TV. I've discovered your channel a few weeks ago. I'm hooked. Thank you very much, mate. Thank you. Hello to the Netherlands. Hi from Poland. Hi mate, been watching your videos, starting a pressure washing business in two months time. Good luck, best of luck to you. Uh, you bring the YouTube, I'll bring the laugh. Sounds good, Evan. Looking forward to it, mate. Liam says, how much did your van set up to cost you at the start to get you going? Um, regardless of the van, because it's, that's up to you, isn't it? Um, I just had like a pressure washer in the back and a bin and stuff. Pressure washing, you can get started decently for about two and a half grand. That's if you're buying new equipment. Um, if you buy second-hand stuff, you can get, get started a lot cheaper than that. Elizabeth says, heat gun and a paper towel. Yeah, man, yeah, definitely. Yeah, melt it. That's the way to do it, I think. Saw an old vid from Ben at Flawless. Yeah, shout out Ben at Flawless Cleaning, where you gave a shout out for mentioning him. I'm sure your comment really helped him out. You're a good man, so yeah, glad to help. Uh, I'll be lurking because loving the vibe playing Sims 4. Wicked, good game. Denise says you've got the best power washing channel. Thank you very much. Hello, Chelsea. All good, mate. Riri says you should be a model for pressure washer products. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Who knows? Hello, Brittany. Hello from my I love you videos. Thank you very much. Hello, Kelsey as well. I'm losing my voice again, guys. Go have a drink. Silly question, after cleaning block paving, those muck, you're taking them and leaving with the customer. So what, everyone asks this, so what I do basically, when you've got a really dirty, might be very loud, sorry guys, when you get a really um, dirty driveway, right? It's full of mud and moss. Basically what I do is I'll clean the drive and I'll sweep all of the mud down to the edge of the road, for example, or the edge of the driveway. And then especially if it's a warm day, just leave it there. So once the driveway is all cleaned off, just leave it there, let all of that dirty water run out of it. Wait half an hour in the van, then it should be half dry, it would just be a little bit soggy. So then what I'll do is I'll scoop it up, because I want to start cleaning the road off. I'll put it into a bucket, and then I might, if there's like a bit of a muddy patch in the garden somewhere, or in the bushes, I'll sort of pour it in there and let it drain out further. Try and let it in direct sunlight, let it completely dry out. And then by the time you finish the job, you've rinsed the road off, you might have resanded the drive or done whatever. Um, that all of that mud will be pretty much dried out so then you can put it in the customer's bin or say hey it's mud um, can I is it okay to just to spread it in the tree lines is it okay to just spread it you know in a, in a bed somewhere um, and 100% of the time for me anyway the customers are like yeah, yeah that's sound just chuck it behind the trees or they'll have a, a space for it. it's just mud so that's what I do a lot of, a lot of people worry about that They're like oh where do I put it what do I do do we have to take it off site of us you can do but you'll need a waste license for it. So just pay whatever, how much ever it is a month or a year for a waste license, take it all with you and then take it to the tip. But um, I was just thinking, if you just ask the customer and say, is it okay for just spread it around in the bushes? I mean, within a day, it'll disappear anyway. You won't even notice, so. And geez, $10, thank you very much. Thanks for doing what you do. We need more people. Thank you very much. I'll put that towards good use and uh, better videos. Thank you, Andrew. Um, so yeah, guys, that was my thing on the mud anyway. Um, Shaggy says, oh, other side of Great Bar. Iron Fan says, my comments aren't showing up on the pop out chat. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, that's the first one I've seen of you. Sharon says, you've got a lot of female subscribers. YouTube say it's typically only 3%. You're way more than that. Yeah, I think it's 50 50, almost, I think. It might be 45 female and 55 male is my audience. I think that's the cleaning niche in general because obviously females are a lot more into cleaning than most men are, so it's, uh, I think that's why. Crazy Alice here, hello mate, how's it going? Nice to see you here, bud. Ruby says, I don't want to be rude, but how old are you? I'm 27 years old. 
James says, permanent five o'clock shadow, but you're sponsored by Manscaped. But yeah, well, Manscaped is meant for down there, isn't it? So, um, I don't know, this is, I don't like to be too clean shaven. This is the way I like it, but when it gets, starts getting all dark, that's when I'll, I'll, I'll shave it off then. Um, tumbleweed, hey, from South Florida, late start today, hope it's all good, too hot here currently. Yeah, what's the temperature over there? And if you can get it in Celsius, so I can understand it, that would be great. Thank you again, Angie, that's very kind of you. Chelsea says, it's dirt, we do the same, we've got to back jobs. Yeah, just customers bin, if it's dry, if it's wet, the guys might not, the bin men might not take it. So remember that, don't put it in there when it's wet. And also, especially if you've got an elderly customer, don't fill the bun up, uh, the bin up too much because they ain't gonna be able to move it. So those are the times when I'll take the dirt. If there's nowhere to spread it and it's an elderly customer, um, I always make sure that we don't fill that bin up too much just, if, just so they can keep maneuvering it and get the bins out if they need to. Um, Evan says same age as me and I look forward. <laughs> uh, Heidi from Australia, thanks Nathaniel. It's barbecue night, burger or hot dog? Uh, yeah, I don't have a barbecue. All right, you've, you guys have reminded me to go and buy a barbecue because I might go and get one in a bit. Nah, B&Q shuts at four, don't it? What time is it? Ah, oh, 12 minutes, I won't make it. Mate, there's always tomorrow. Spoothy says, Sid, true honest opinion on the Wilkes T X750i, is it worth the hassle? It, it's all on a budget. Right, if you've got a grand to spend, but you think I only want to spend 400 of it, uh, I wouldn't get the Wilkes. But if you've only got 400 to spend, I would get the Wilkes, um, put it that way. Uh, the Wilkes will be good for a few months and then it will just start to break apart. So if you've got a load of jobs booked in, you've only got 400 pound in the account to spend on a pressure washer, get the Wilkes, smash out those jobs and then put money aside for when the Wilkes does start playing up just so you can buy a new one straight away and a, and a better one as well. Uh, where am I? Oh, you've seen my comments since I actually popped out the chat. Oh, nice. Just wanted to verify if part two is you. Yep, that's me. I'm not very active on there. Um, I just go and check it sometimes, but I might try and get a bit more active on there, actually. Um, I wonder if it's a bad idea to use my electric pressure washer to clean my gutters. Nah, that'd be fine. That'd be fine. I've pressure washed a few gutters in my time. Just got back from my evening football session, saw your notification, want to come say hi before freshen up and eat Thank you very much. And a big shout out to you, mate, because you're always supporting. I really appreciate it. Spencer says I'm male and female. Got one in the front. <laughs> uh, thank you, Denise. Chelsea, are you back in the shower in time soon? Wednesday. I'm in... Am I in Cheltenham on Wednesday, actually? Yes, yes, Wednesday I'm in... Yeah, I've got a roof to do in Cheltenham on Wednesday. So if you're about, mate, hit me up on Instagram and you can uh, come say hello. Johnny says, any progressions on the potential D&J Projects Club? I haven't spoke to him, to be honest. Um, you guys will have to uh, reach out, put a comment on their latest video and say, hey man, when are you working with Sid? Because they're good blokes out, I would love to, uh, to clean something for them. Liam says, how do you work out pricing for pressure washing? Uh, square meter usually, um, but a lot of the times I can just see how much it would be just from looking at it because I've done so many. Uh, got a flexible builder's bucket and drilled a couple of, good idea. I've not thought of doing that. I've got the same flexible bucket, but I haven't thought of drilling holes in. Very good idea, mate. I'm going to steal that from you, and I'll give you a shout out in the next video when I do it. Thanks, Shaggy. Uh, Josiah says, I watch other pressure washing videos. They don't clean the street, and I hate it. Yeah, it's the main thing, to be honest. That's what's, you can do a really good job. Driveway can look immaculate. And then when the neighbors are all looking out the window going, oh, he's doing, doing a good job, but look at the state the street's in at the moment. And then you drive off and the street's still a mess. Yeah, you ain't getting a call from them. Then, you know, it's, it's gonna harm your business in the long run. Uh, and sometimes cleaning the street takes longer than the actual job you've just done, which is annoying, but it's, it's gotta be done. Um, Eddie, sorry I'm still lurking, but would you come to do a job in Liverpool? Yeah, I think Liverpool's only an hour, it's about an hour away from me, isn't it? To north, northwest, is it? Yeah, it's about an hour away from me, I think. 25 degrees, Elizabeth says. Yeah, nice and warm. Angie says, got three kids about your age, talk about feeling old. Oh, well, hello to the kids, or men and women. Mr. Drummer, most petrol stations should have a disposable valve. You're right, actually, yeah, I might go grab one in a bit. Any room in the back of the van for a cheeky barbecue? I'll tell you what, though, I've just got, I took delivery the other day of a massive electric generator, right? So I'm trying to think of ideas, because obviously I'm gonna make a video about it, because it's really cool. I'm trying to think of ideas of what I can do. Maybe I can get a portable oven and cook dinner while we're on a job. That's a brilliant idea. 
A little electric oven. Yes, thank you for that. Thank you, I will remember that. It's massive, it's huge. It can power my Vita, it can power a few things. So yeah, I'm, uh, it's got an EV socket in it, so you could go to one of them car charging stations and charge it there, it's wicked. Um, Shaggy says, you live in the Briggs and Stratton. Yeah, it's a nice engine, isn't it? It really is. James says, do you do much window cleaning? As in, around, I don't have a round anymore. The only window clean I do is the odd one off if someone calls up. Um, and that's about it, really. Yeah, I would like to get back into it, but with not me doing it much, if you know what I mean, I'd like to do maybe a few, I'd like to build a round, have someone else do it, and then I'll jump in just to make sure everything's tip top, sort of maybe once a month, a couple of times a month, maybe I'll do a surprise day on the round, because I'd have like a random guy working it. Um, so I'd jump on the round at random points and make sure that the frames are all being done, you know, and that, yeah, keep him on his toes, basically. I will get to it eventually, but I'd need another van and all sorts, so. Uh, Adam says, afternoon from Sunny Swaddling Coat. Very close to me. Hello, mate. Thirty-nine degrees here in Texas. Ooh, that is hot. CDL says, do you offer wheelie bin cleaning? Some of these messages are getting cut off for some reason. I've just set this up in Kent. Um, yeah, no, I don't offer it again. But one day, maybe. Hello, Neo. Do you feel a difference between well water and city water? We don't really have any well water in the UK. It's all connected up. As far as I know, pretty much every property is connected up to, to a big main line. Um, hi, pal. How do you get a terracotta terrace back to looking new? So, like, the roof terracotta roof tiles or, oh, like a terrace, like a thing. I don't know. You'll have to send me a picture. My email should be on, probably not this description, but any, send me a picture of it and I'll tell you exactly what I would do. Um, go to like the previous video I've done. I'll have an email link in the description. Um, where I will come and see you in Cheltenham. Yeah, nice one, Aidan. I'll let you know. I think yeah, I should be there on Wednesday. I should only be there. I should be there for a full day, I think, doing a roof. So, I'll uh, I'll give you a ring, mate. I can't remember exactly where it. No, I know. I remember where it was. But obviously, I don't want to say it publicly, just in case the customer uh, wouldn't might not like that very much. So I'll let you know privately. Um, hey, Salam says, what's the best customer reaction you've ever had to a job? I've had loads, to be fair. Um, I don't like, I don't really like videoing it. I don't like putting a, this is, a lot of people say, oh, we really want like, we'd love to see how the customers react and things like that. But I feel very awkward about recording people because I wouldn't, of course you want to get a natural reaction from the customer, but I wouldn't like to just be there with a camera staring at them going, did you like that? And then they're like, oh my God, it's great. And I don't know, I feel like it would put people on, like, on the spot a little bit. Um, and I, you know, I don't like people pointing a camera in my face if I'm not sort of expecting it. So that's the reason I don't do it. Um, for me, it's just about respecting the customer's privacy a bit. Um, I have thought about saying to a customer, hey, do you mind if I film you a bit after the job's done? But to me, it seems just in my head, it feels a little bit too fake, like a little bit too structured. And I don't really want to do that. So. Um, that's why I don't put them in. I mean, if it comes out and a customer comes out and they're like, as I'm recording anyway, and they're like, oh my God, look at this. Then I'll be like, you know, cool. Say, look, I've recorded that. Do you mind if I put it in a video? Um, if they say yes, happy days. But if not, but I have done that before. I've had the camera set up recording and a customer's come out and said like, hey, oh, it looks amazing, blah, 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 blah. And I've said, I've got you on. I'll probably have that recorded. Is it okay if I put it in the video? And they're like, oh no, I'd rather if my voice wasn't on the, on the thing. And I'm like, yeah, fair enough. So it's one thing recording a, property but it's another thing recording their voice isn't it so yeah that's the only reason i don't do it um but maybe one day uh where am i i think my dad's in it hello dad how's it going at home enjoying the weather bill says are you enjoying family life yeah man it's amazing it's wicked adam says depending on what you're cooking air fryers are great yeah i'll have to have a look into it robert says thoughts on that famous building yet natural history museum that would be cool wouldn't it yeah, for me, it would be like probably more of a monument than a building, maybe. Um, just, well, I don't know, maybe like a really old cathedral or something like that. That would be cool. But the work that would go into it would be insane. Absolutely insane. Uh, are you putting in regular, unleaded or premium? Premium. The regular kind of screws up the engines nowadays, doesn't it? Charlotte's saying, build one in the show and I'll come do it for you. <laughs> Uh, what generator did you get? I've got a... Oh, crap, I've got the name of it now. Um, I hope my head, sorry, I forgot the name of it, but it was... Yeah, it's expensive. <laughs> I'll show you in a bit. I mean, I should have the video out probably in a couple of weeks. It's um, 
I've seen those, yeah, Honda GX. Yeah, th this one I've got is it's electric, so there's no, you can charge it with solar panels, you can charge it, obviously, in a plug socket, you can charge it with a few things, but yeah, I don't know, I've got the name of it actually, but I'll, the video will be out in a few weeks. Liam says, what do you charge per square meter for block paving? Totally depends, anywhere from 350 to five, depending on the job, so it, it really does depend there on many factors, drainage and size and all sorts. Uh, 40 degrees would utterly ruin me. Yeah, me too, me too. Uh, AA Salam says, do you deal with an issue in dealing with low water pressure? Yeah, sometimes it can be a bit of a pain. That's what can really slow a job down, to be honest. Um, Javier says, how's the new team doing? Yeah, all good. Hello Shader Greens, Memphis. The roof you did with a very thick layer of moss at the back, can't remember where, that was in Wales, that was. Um, yeah, the next time I'm passing, I'll probably head down and, and have a look at that because I would be intrigued to see how it's getting on as well. Because I was under the, I said to him, look, you notice anything not quite right, call me up and I'll come back and retreat. Because it was so thick on there, I didn't have high hopes that the first, even though I put so much chemical on that roof, I didn't think it's gonna fully clean it. So I thought I might have to do, I said, within about three to six months, let me know how it's getting on. Um, you know, and I'll come and retreat it, but it's been ages, it's been like eight months, so it must be looking good, I guess. Uh, are you a one-man van when doing driveways? Yes, mate. Hello, Brandon, how's it going? Brandon's here, everyone. Big shout out to Brandon. Uh, Elizabeth says, does your dad do YouTube? No, uh, no, he doesn't, but I do. I would like him to, it would be fun. Hello, Jacqueline, just signed in. Copper Tart. Neo Rat says, uh, most customers aren't happy to be recorded either. Yeah, it's, I don't know. Like I said, I, I don't like to be recorded unless I'm ready for it, because I can get a bit like, uh, I don't know what to say. Um, it's a bit embarrassing, isn't it? So. Uh, Lee from Old School Wind Clears there, hello buddy. Hello Firestar, Cindy, hello, 31 degrees, nice and hot. Make sure the viewers have the live chat settings, not the top chat. Top, top chat doesn't show every comment, thank you Sharon. 42 minutes man, this has flown by. Where are we? Mike says, I've got chrysolite roof tiles with half a percent asbestos. Yeah, be careful with them, mate. You're gonna have to probably soft wash them from a distance um, and be very careful with that. You'd have to do your research on them. Dealing with asbestos is, is no good. Hello, Nick. Shaggy says, yeah, she runs better on premium. Yeah, it's uh, that, the E5, E10. Is it E10? Yeah, e ten's the bad one, isn't it? So that, it's just, yeah, apparently it just ruins everything. Miss Mac, 20 US dollars. Thank you very much, really kind. I really need to go, but your kindness is really reflecting everything you do. Good luck with everything, looking forward to more videos. Thank you very much, it's super kind. I really appreciate that. And again, anything, uh, super chats and stuff on here, they go towards the videos and free jobs. So thank you very much. Um, and again, Mike says, is it safe to clean these half asbestos, half a percent asbestos? You'd have to really do your research, mate. I, I couldn't give you any advice on that, unfortunately, because I haven't done it. Um, so do your research and, and be as safe as possible on that. Hello Giovanna, Liam says I'm going to e email you some pics over of a job for some advice. I tried to contact you on your Facebook page. Yeah, send me an email mate. Um, I don't check my Facebook that much these days. Um, just I get a lot of like spam on there for some reason now. It's like Facebook has just gone downhill for me. Um, it's not easy to use anymore. Uh, Edward says, see a lot of pressure washers in the USA saying use bleach to kill fungus. Yeah, it works, works well. We use bleach quite a lot here. I don't use it on roofs, but I use it on ground surfaces. Um, have you, Iron Fan says, have you ever thought about doing a collab with Tino's Car Care? I haven't seen that channel actually, I'll have to check it out. Or other similars. I'd love, that was one of my missions for this year was to do collabs. Um, so yeah, I need to make some friends first, to be honest, don't I? So I don't really speak to many other YouTubers. I've got a few guys in the pressure washing industry that I do, um, that I'm mates with, and we've we've all got a big super collab planned at some point soon, which will be really fun. Um, but that's it so far for this year. So I do need to do need to find some uh, find some friends. Uh, just caught up on the Wilkes reply. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much. Hello, Mark. Brandon says hundred and eight thousand. I think you were at twenty thousand when I started following. Yeah, it's flown by, isn't it, mate? It really has. And uh, yeah, I still remember that live about how generous you were as well. I'll never forget that, mate. That was really kind of you. Emma says, hello, hello. Oh, Cindy, $50. Thank you, Cindy. That's really kind. No message. There's no message on that. Just, uh, just a lone wolf sending some money. Thank you very much, Cindy. That's very kind. Really appreciate it. Governor says, hose pipe ban on the way. Oh, I need to drop my beer again. Hose pipe ban on the way, do you reckon so? 
Does that affect us pressure washing guys, do you think? Because it's business, I guess. Neil says, just curious, what does soft washing mean? My guess is that the pressure washer isn't used. Yeah, basically, you can still use a pressure washer to soft wash, but it's basically the point of no hard water pressure hitting that surface. So at most, you're gonna be using a very low water pressure, sort of similar to what would come out of a tap, and you're using pretty much chemicals to do the cleaning work instead of hard water blasting the surface. So it's ideal for delicate surfaces, or once you've done the hard pressure washing, you can then follow up with the soft wash for really stubborn marks that aren't there in the first place. And the reason why you'll do that, so you might think, well, why not just soft wash first? You need a, a, an area to be as clean as possible so that the chemicals can penetrate as deep into those organic stainings as, as, as they can. So if there's a roof full of moss and you just spray some bleach on it or you spray some biocide on it, that moss is gonna die, yes, but you're gonna have an orange roof because the moss is still stuck onto those tiles. So you remove the moss first, then put the chemical on to kill any of the spores on the roof then you'll have a nice clean roof. Um, yeah, The moss would fall off eventually, but you're talking weeks, months, maybe even a year for all of that moss to disappear. And no one wants to pay someone a grand to clean their nice roof to have it orange for six months. So yeah, that's why. Um, Bournemouth cleaning would be a cool one. Yeah, I speak to uh, Ricky a lot, he's a nice dude. Sheila says, love the way you take such pride in your work. Thank you very much, Sheila, all the way from Ireland. Colleen says, hi, Sid from Chicago. Hello, Colleen. Uh, Offbeat Wolver says, what sort of income can you achieve in the UK doing cleaning? As a one-man band, I reckon if you do everything right, you market yourself, you invest the money back into the business, um, and you keep up with stuff like the, the marketing, you do a really good job, and you get quite popular in the area. So say after probably a year, two years, I reckon it's pressure washing wise. Um, that's if you're having add-on jobs for the winter as well, because remember pressure washing does go down in the winter. I do believe it's probably, it could be quite common to earn at least 40,000 pound a year, you know, which is kind of the minimum, if you're gonna be running a business anyway, and a business that deals with a lot of equipment also, um, you know, that's sort of where you should, a realistic area to be aiming. And then when you wanna earn more than that, that's when you start getting employees, get another van, start upscaling the business. But I think as a one man, 40K a year is reasonable. If you're really good, you probably do 60, 70. Um, if you're like a superhuman beast, 100 grand, but that would be very difficult to do, just pressure washing and, and cleaning as a, as a one man band. It would be very, very difficult, possible, but not plausible for a long period of time. Maybe you could do, you could go crazy for a year and do it. Um, but I think it would take its, its toll mentally as well. Mentally, probably more than physically, because you just, you'd be grinding every day, seven days a week to do something like that. So um, yeah, that's what I reckon anyway. But I think 40K is a reasonable income to, to expect if you're doing well, um, which is probably over the most wages in the UK, to be honest with you. But again, it's running a business, isn't it? You could, it could be the same for any self-employed business. You can earn more money, but there's so much more stress that comes with it as well. Um, you don't just have to turn up to work, you have to do everything else as well. Uh, Dave says, what length of hose pipe and pressure washer hose do you use generally? Um, I've got a 50 meter hose pipe, which is a three quarter inch hose that's for filling the tank up. And my pressure washing hose is 65 meters. Hello, Chad, nice to see you here, mate. Big shout out to Chad. Hi, Colleen, thank you very much. I don't know where to put it. I believe in what you do with the free washes. Thank you very much, Cindy. I really appreciate it. It was super kind of you, thank you. And I'll keep it all to one side and the next one that comes up, I'm hunting. Guys, I'm always hunting. It is hard to find these jobs, but I'm hunting. Uh, those pipe bands don't affect commercial users, it was empty, yeah, I thought so. 123 people in here as well and 136 likes. Thank you very much, guys. Giovanna says, what chemicals do you use to soft wash? Biocide and sodium hypochlorite are my main ones. Tina's car care dude from use colour spray foam for his mobile car care van. Mostly in under. Oh, I've seen him. Yeah, he does like supercars and it's like bright green uh, snow foam. Yeah, that would be cool, man. Hello, Gareth. How's it going, mate? Nice to see Gareth in here. Big shout out. Thank you for explaining the soft washing. Thanks, Neil. Bruce always the sun says you're happy with new stuff. Yes, yeah, super happy. Really happy with it. Yeah, Rat says Sid the superhuman beast. Yeah, phew, yeah, I'm not making 100 grand pressure washing guys, I can assure you. Uh, Chris Dubbs, Sid, best, best sealing to use is Smart Seal for me. Yeah, Smart Seal are good. They've built up a good name for themselves. Hyper says, how's Kev? Is he a full-time employee? 
yeah, he's, he's out grafting every, every day pretty much these days. I've had loads of spam comments. Let me let me uh, hide that user. How do I get rid of him? Hide user. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. What was that? New AI dating site, right? <laughs> Don't fall for that one, guys. <laughs> um, there we are. Spams. Yeah, where's Lee? Lee's a mod, isn't he? Do your job, Lee! <laughs> yeah, I got got rid of it. There we are. Cool. Chad says that you can have two complete sets of roofs. Um, I already do now. So, yeah. So, my van has got everything you'd ever need to pressure wash a job and everything you'd need to pressure wash a roof in. The other van has got all of the stuff I've used on this channel previously. Obviously, it's not all in there at the same time, but everything you've seen me use pre-June, uh, that's got everything in there, um, ready to go pretty much at any time. So I can get a pressure washing system in there, scaffold in, uh, scraping stuff. So, yeah. Uh, We've watched you since day one. Great channel. Uh, lovely work ethics. Well done on subscribers. Members. Thank you very much, Gary. Trying my best. To Bart report. Thanks, everyone, for reporting that. Abby says, silly question. Have you played the power washing simulator? Yes, I've got a video on my channel playing it, actually. I was ill. I, th I think I might have had COVID, actually, because I was around the COVID times. I was really sick. Um, so I played that for a video instead of actually going out cleaning. Uh, where are we? David says, was in London for the first time last weekend. Great city, even better people. Can you do videos without the music and sped up recording? Yeah, um, I've got a second channel just called Sid Partridge. I've got, honestly, I've got about 50 jobs that I need to put on that channel. It's just finding the time to do it. I'm like, oh. Um, and they're all going to be real-time videos. So the second channel is my real-time and tech video. Why I use certain tools, how to set up a certain tool, blah, 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 blah. Talking videos and stuff, they'll all be on that channel. This channel stays, will stay as like the format that I've got so far, which is usually interesting jobs. Um, and I do put music over them. I've, always, I've wrestled with it for a while. I was like, do I stop the music? Do I completely get rid of the music and just have the natural sounds and a bit of sped up footage? Um, but I thought, if it's not broken, I don't really need to fix it yet, do I? So unless I start getting loads of people saying, oh, sick, your music sucks, man, <laughs> terrible, then I'll stop. <laughs> but I try my best. I do search, I try and search for like really good music if I can. Um, and I just find it helps get through the video a little bit better, but I do, I get in my own head about it, guys. It's, it's hard to please everyone. And I don't know, maybe I should do a poll. I don't know, because I'd rather sort of do what my core subscribers want to see, because the, the, you guys are the people that have got the channel to this point, so I don't want to change it just because new people are in and go like, oh, Sid, that music's crap. Um, I don't know, so I wrestle with it sometimes, but yeah. Yeah, I think my format's okay. It seems to be okay, so. Robert says, do a collab with DJ Projects. Yeah, I've, I've, I'll do speak to the guys. I've spoke to them in a while. We'll, um, yeah, we'll have to sort something out. Yeah, I will clear some of their stuff for them. Oh, yeah, they're only in Nottingham, aren't they? Forget about that. So that's like 40 minutes from me, Max. Hello, Irish Pressure Cleaning. Yep, correct, Bettino uses different colour snow foams. Uh, yeah, I'll have to, might have to hit him up one day. Chelsea, seeing your other vid was helpful yesterday about converting poles to roof pressure washer. Yeah, it's quite simple, isn't it? I think a lot of people get a bit like, well, oh, I don't know how to do that. It's complicated, but it's super simple. Hello, Richard. Call of a day, 65. Hello. Spammers must really annoy you. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, luckily, I don't get too many of them. Um, yeah, that one that was it copied my profile picture and my YouTube name and was trying to scam people, that one was a bit annoying, but... Uh, Lola says, music great, don't kill the music. Brilliant, thank you. Thanks, Gerard. Thanks, Hyper. Thanks for tuning in, mate. Offbeat Wolves says, great answer. Thank you. What do you do in the winter when the power washer slows up? Roofs, gutters, and just anything I can find to do, basically. Um, but we really do make our money in the, in the summer. So, you know, we usually kind of, as long as I've been smart with my money throughout the year, I can kind of survive the winter, basically. Uh, thanks, Elizabeth. Thanks, cats. All right, everyone's happy with the music buzzing. Thank you. Um, Giovanna says, can you tell me what you've got a cleaning system? That is from Spina Clean. S-P-I-N-A, clean. Uh, really good company. Thanks, Neo, for tuning in. Thank you very much. 
on SSI. So, so do you think that later on you'll have a second or third channel where you do vlogs? Seen daily. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I would, uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe that's what the second channel would be, to be honest. I don't know if I could handle doing three channels. I'm barely, guys, I've barely uploaded on that second channel. I need to get a move on with it. Uh, hello, Sean. Hello, Sharon. Oh, she says, I love your musical sections. Thanks, Sharon. Where's the best place to buy hypochlorite? You'll have to search locally, mate. Type chemical supply local to me. Any pressure washing supplier usually will sell them as well. How about a collab with Colin Furs? Imagine that. Oh, I'll say this now one day. Colin Furs is the man. That would be wicked. But uh, yeah, he's far too far too YouTube famous for, for someone like me, I think. Uh, hello, Joe. Which is fine, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you had a roof to clean and on the day it was raining, would you still scrape it? Yeah, might as well. If I'm there, I might as well just get going on it. So I'll scrape the roof and then obviously wait for it to dry out and then put the chemical on it if needed. Hello, Eugene. All right, one sec, guys, I'm just gonna go drink. Yeah, more importantly, I need to know what you guys want to see because I want to make things. I mean, I could make a driveway video every day, um, but I want to. I like to try and get interesting jobs if I can. It's not always possible, um, but if there's anything unusual you guys want to see in videos, uh, or even anything that I might think is mundane, because again, I get in my own head and I think, well, I've already done a million roof scraping videos, so I don't really want to do another one because once you've scraped one roof, you've scraped one roof, you've scraped all of them. So, there's a baby up there being upset, but uh, not mine. Um, it's next door's. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys want to say. Uh, where am I? Put a coat on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everyone says that about window cleaning too. Yeah, I mean, I was always the same, it's like, oh, I wouldn't go out if it was raining a bit, but it was just an excuse because I was being lazy. It really does not matter. Um, Catherine, hello Catherine, greetings from hell, aka Texas, yeah, hot over there, 40 degrees. Thank you, Sharon, that's my pleasure. Joanna says, don't ever put yourself down, your videos are great, thank you very much. There's a spider web behind him. Yeah, there's loads of spiders right here. Got something about my garden, I'm telling you. I've never seen so many spiders. Should we see if we can find one? They're big as well. They're super big. All right, follow me. All right, if I know where one's going to be, let me switch this. Can I switch this camera around? Come on. Hopefully I don't lose the... All right, if there's going to be a spider anywhere, a big one. Oh, jeez, that's heavy, man. Oh, I need a glove, I think. There's the one down here. Come on, use my strength. Oh my god, no, I'm gonna crush my fingers. Hang on. Oh my god, that's so heavy. Oh, they've let me down, there's none here. I saw some of the biggest spiders I've ever seen in my life yesterday when I was moving these slabs. That's, he's not very big. Might have just crushed him there. Serves him right. No, never mind. There was, there was a big one here, he's gone. Yeah, I was, anyway, I was moving those slabs yesterday. Massive, like, almost the size of my hand. Lost all these messages now. Uh, where am I? So I thought I was getting to the end of the messages then, and then I come back and they're all gone. Uh, spider would be on him. Where are you in the UK? Need my roof cleaned? I'm in Burton on Trent, but I do, depending on the job, I do travel quite far out. So if you go to sid at partridgesteercleaning.co.uk, send an email there. That's my email address, rather. Um, I'll get you a quote. Hello, Mandy. Mandy's an admin as well, so if anyone's anyone's been cheeky and playing up, Mandy will sort you out, guys. Uh, Charles saying, I was saying that, then waterproof trainers, any good? Yeah, I showed him it. I've got them on now. They're great. They are really good, actually. 
But I don't think they're shipped to the UK, so you might have to email them and see if they will. I don't think there's an option on the website. Catherine says you should fly to Texas and do power washing around my ranch. I would love to. I would absolutely love to. Really would. Never thought I'd be so invested in a power washing channel, but I am. You're a good dude. Also, I didn't mean literally daily vlogs, but yeah. Yeah, an, an editor would be good. I am really thinking about it, to be honest. Thanks, Dean. Um, Robert says, how do you stop all the muck spraying under garage doors? It's a pain. What I've been doing lately is I've been putting masking tape on it. Not masking tape. Um, tape, grey tape. What, why is, what's wrong with my brain? Tape, you know what I mean? What's it called? You guys know what I mean. Anyway, that grey, good tape. How the hell have I forgotten the name of that tape? Uh, is it mask? No, it's not masking tape. It's gaffer tape. Is it gaffer tape? I don't know. That tape anyway, I'll just tape, tape the tape up. It's fine. Uh, Tumbleweed, hello, Joe Cat, watch your videos, and I'd love a one hour plus supercut. I'll try my best, I'll get something sorted for you. Thanks, Colleen. Brandon Morris, technical question How does a guy like Chris Fix have over 8 million? He doesn't even put out too many videos anymore. I don't know. It's he, whatever he did, he got the formula, didn't he? And he's, uh, he's just taken off. He really has. So, fair play to him, it's insane. He can definitely retire on 8 million subscribers, put it that way. Uh, be nice to know what to let us know what area you work in. Yeah, I work around Burton on Trent, Derby, Staffordshire, all around those sort of areas. But I'm in London on no London Wednesday. I'm in London. For anyone that was wondering when I'm going to Cheltenham, Tuesday I'm going to Cheltenham, not Wednesday. So yeah, Tuesday I'm in Cheltenham. Wednesday I'm in London. I'm all over the place. Uh, thanks, Abby. Mass is winter, my friend. Not here, definitely not. Uh, thanks, Colleen. Don't worry, just read that one. Good day, Ben Traymer. Hello, Elizabeth. Hello, Corinne. Hello, Gunnar. Keep on doing great work. Thank you, Evan. Uh, Did you ever get footage on that? Yes, I'm going back. Basically, because my van got crashed into and all that sort of stuff, and that job, it's not the most high paid of jobs. It's kind of like a day rate job. Um, he me messaged me the other day and said, Sid, where you been, man? We need the, you know, want you back to carry on with the roof so I'll be back soon um, yeah it's just quite a mammoth task so I'm gonna have to do it in like little sections basically thanks Catherine you, thank you Eugene if you dropped it you've had too much well, <laughs> yeah. not watching spiders don't mess with spiders spiders sitting around now nah, I tell you man they were massive yesterday they all made me look like an idiot now because they've gone but huge uh, hello Shelley spiders are camera shy Okay, hola, bonjour, sodium percarbonate, good for power washing and concrete. Um, I don't use it, so I can't say, but I think so. I've heard a lot of people say that. No, don't kill spiders. Yeah, I don't kill the spiders. That Sorry, that one I might have crushed by accident, but yeah, I don't kill them. Uh, a tour in USA. Yeah, that's my idea. I would like to do like a little USA run. So I'd basically go out there, hire like a pickup truck, chuck a pressure washer on the back as well and just go and clean some stuff, but one day. One day. What have I missed? Mandy, $10. Thank you very much, Mandy. You're too kind. Mandy's been a long time subscriber as well, pretty much since the beginning, so thank you very much. That's really kind of you, Mandy. Thank you. Duct tape. There you go. Thanks, guys. Duct tape. Right, let's see, I don't know what's wrong with my head. All gaffer tape. So I was kind of right with gaffer tape then. Liam said, I've sent an email over. I just saw it pop up, mate, so I'll give that a read once I'm done. I will probably be going soon. Jeannie says, hello from New Jersey. Thank you very much. I think saying gaffer shows my age. <laughs> Afternoon, Daniel. Our cars, somebody who works as a cleaner, which is something a lot of people hate doing. What is something you hate doing? Resanding. It's boring. I hate it. Hello, Noise Khan. Hello, Joel. Evan says, you should start selling bits and bobs for jet washing, like some YouTubers. Oh, I'm on 10% battery. Damn. Uh, might have to go quicker than I thought, guys. Um, yeah, I would like to. It's something in the making. It's coming soon. Basically, I am the most disorganised person in the world, so I can barely keep up with my business. So starting to sell products or doing a course and stuff, it's difficult for me to like tune in and get it done. So I will. It, it's coming, don't worry. I've, I've had some like really cool ideas for stuff I could probably create um, that will be interesting for other companies to use as well. But yeah, I need to speak to some chemical guys and figure stuff out. 
Catherine, what's that? I can't see it. No, it's like cut off. I think that's, is that $19 from Catherine? Thank you very much. That's really kind. I can't see it. Yeah, $19.99. Thank you very much, Catherine. That's really kind of you. Thank you very much. You guys are being too nice today. Brandon, 50. Oi. Brandon, you got to stop, man. You got to stop. Basically, donated a, a monthly wage with these live streams, man. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that, dude. Thank you to everyone else that's donated as well. It's amazing. You guys are too kind. No, seriously, thank you very much. That's amazing. And hello, Heidi, as well. Ben Tray, my impressive live stream actually reads the comments. I, see, I can't really... I can talk about nothing, but um, it would probably only about... I've got about a 10-minute thing where I can just talk and talk and talk, and then I, I'll, I'll forget what I'm saying, so it helps me to actually read people's comments, so I've got something to talk about. And uh, thanks again, guys, for donating. You guys are too nice. Um, Colleen says you'd be welcome to pressure wash at my house, thank you very much. Well, that's probably what I'll do if I do end up doing that trip. Um, I was hoping to do it this year, to be honest with you. It might have to be next year. Uh, I'll probably have to, I'll do a video and I'll say, if it's okay for me to come and clean something at your house and then maybe camp out in the garden or something, hit me up and then I'll go through it all and, and try and plan like a little route, it'd be wicked. Um, where are we? Brandon says, use that 50 for a gallon of fuel. <laughs> oh, it's bad. It's bad. No, nah, it's bad. I'm using... I must be filling up at least 30 quid a day at the moment, at least. Whereas before, I could... It was more like a tenner, a fiver, maybe, that I'd put in, <laughs> and it would last me a job, I swear. It's, it's at least 30 a day now. Now I've got the new machine as well. I've got diesel in there as well for the boiler. Um, some jobs I won't need heat, obviously, but the last few jobs I've done... Excuse me, I've needed it. Oh, it's getting expensive. It really is. Um, it's like everything else has just gone up, and it's like, how much do you put your prices up? Because if you put your prices up too much, you're not going to get any more work. It's it's tough out. It's, it's a tough world out here at the moment, man. It really is. Again, I'm just thankful I've got this channel and you guys supporting me. Because if not, it would be uh, it would be a bit of a, a worry. Put it that way. Um, ben says, "What's the gadget used to rinse about the lance? It's called an X Jet X Jet M5." Uh, use that 50. Hello from Uruguay. Hello, Frankie. Nice for tuning in. Cool day. Thank you very much. Thank you. Eugene says, I've got a very international following. Yeah, it baffles me. I think it's, I think it's like something like 30% UK, 30% America, and then the rest is like spread out over Europe and, um, India and Africa and China, and not China, um, a few other sort of places. Everyone that you've seen in these comments, to be honest. Uh, what do you use to clean the UPVC windows? Usually just water. If I need to use a chemical, I use something called TFR, which is called traffic film remover, um, or a degreaser, anything like that. That will make it all come up nice. Brandon says, you're welcome. Happy to pitch you in. The entertainment value is worth it alone. Thank you very much. Brandon, Brandon you're the man, honestly. Uh, Eugene says, a bit more drone shots would be nice. Yeah, it's kind of hard, because I, I try and fly it, get it into a position, and then I'll clean a bit and stuff, but I'll do it more. I'm, I've been loving the drone a bit recently. Neglected, our word says, do you love me? Of course I do. Francis says, Rio de Janeiro, wicked, Netherlands, amazing. Frankie says, you should do a video of you doing a job unedited. I think I have. I think there's one already, but I'll do another one soon. When I get like a small one, I'll, uh, I'll put it up there, because if it was a big job, the video would be like six hours long, so I don't think anyone would sit through all of that. Um, and a lot of it is boring. There's times when you're just waiting around or there's times when you're just rinsing for like an hour straight. It's just rinsing, rinsing, rinsing. But I've speed it up so much on the videos. It looks like it's really quick and it's done, but it's that's an hour of me just rinsing something. It's like, oh. Uh, thank you, Shelley. Hello, Christopher. Thanks, Catherine. Colleen says you're a bad customer. Not many. I've never had like a really bad one. Or, uh, to be fair, this reminded me the other day. I had a customer. I was going to... Another reason why I don't do ceiling anymore, but... She wanted her driveway cleaned and sealed afterwards. I spent £550 out of my own pocket on buying the sealant. And she seemed really trustworthy. She seemed really nice. And I was thinking, oh, because usually I don't take deposits. I don't like taking deposits. So I spent out of my own pocket and I didn't have much money. Like it was like probably 80% of my bank balance was spent on this job at the time. Um, it's not long when I just started out. So I spent all this money on the materials for the job. 
I turn up to go and do it, and she says, oh, well, aren't you going to clean all of the, the, the driveway? And I said, no, you told me you were cleaning the driveway. And, um, no, it was, something, was it something like that? Basically, she said, the driveway is already clean, we just need you to come in and, and seal it. I went around and had a look, and I said, right, there's a few weeds popping up, so if you can just clean it again, just get rid of those weeds, um, and then I'll come in and I'll, I'll seal it. Happy days. Because it looked like a pretty good job, that the driveway, the, the driveway was clean. Um, there was just a few weeds. It probably was clean like a week ago, and there's a few weeds sprouting up, basically. And she said, oh, yeah, well, when, when you get the materials ordered, I said, I'll be around in about a week and a half. Um, just give it a clean, probably about a week before I come over, so in a few days. Um, so I turn up. It hadn't been cleaned again. More weeds had shot through, and I said, well, I need these weeds gone. And they said, can't you just pressure wash it? And I said, no, I can't pressure wash it. I said, that's what you were going to do. If you want me to pressure wash it, then I'll have to pressure wash everything again. You know, that's a, that's a different job in itself. That's going to cost money. That's going to cost me fuel and money. And they said, oh, well, we won't have it done then. And I said, what do you mean? I said, I've just turned up with like nearly 600 pounds worth of sealant here for this job, the most expensive sealant there, the best stuff. Um, and what am I gonna do with it? Are you gonna buy it off me? And they were like, well, no. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, what am I meant to do then? I said, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna clean it. You, you told me you would clean it. I'd have to go back home, get a pressure washer, come back and clean it, I'm not doing that. Um, anyway, we had a, not an argument, but a bit of an argument at the door. And I said, you know what, screw it. Um, and I left, and I've still, this was nearly two years ago, I've still got half of that sealant in the garage, still, in the lockup. So it never, I, I used, the next job I got in, I did them a really cheap price to seal the driveway because I just wanted to get rid of it, and I was like, I'm never sealing again, I've had enough. Um, I used half of it, and I've still got half of it left. I've still got about £270 worth of sealant. Long story anyway, that was my one, and pretty much my one and only bad customer that I've ever had. And I thought, they lived in a nice big house, they had plenty of money, um wouldn't reimburse me on the product I bought for their job. And obviously, because it's a chemical, you can't send it back. You know, you'd have to get a license to be able to put it back on transport. Once you've bought it, you've bought it. So, yeah, no good. Uh, let me see, is my phone gonna die at 3%? I might be able to do some here, hang on. the wonkiest tripod that has ever existed, hang on. Are we charging? Are we good? We're good. Oh. Don't get down a bit. Oh. All right, so we are. Happy days, we're charging, let's go. I've missed all the messages again. Um, but yeah, anyway, that seems sort of my fault. Should have took a deposit. Um, should have made them pay for it outright, maybe. I don't know, but my fault. So I learned my mistake there. Uh, da, 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 da. I like the round spinny thing. Yeah, me too, man. Hey, Sid, do you ever get that custom Lego? No, I forgot about that, actually. I need to sort some of little pressure washer, man. I want that. Is SH safe to use around tarmac? No, don't let it get on tarmac at all. Um, it will turn it brown. So... If, it, if you've got no choice to get it near it, make sure that tarmac stays wet the entire time. Mandy says, I love the UFO, UFO surface cleaner too. Yeah, they should call it. I've been saying, that's what they need to call those things, UFOs, because they do look like them. Frankie says, you get bored doing the same thing for hours, some, sometimes. But when I'm making a video, it kind of makes it a little bit easier because I've got something else to think about. Uh, Liam says, I never recommend sealers to any of my customers. I think the results are crap. Yeah, I completely agree, mate. For what it costs to have a good quality sealer, you could have your, you know, and it might only last five years. You could have your driveway cleaned every year for five years for the same cost anyway, so I agree. Um, is concrete common for driveways? Yeah, not really concrete in the UK. I know it is for America, everything's concrete, isn't it, pretty much? But in the UK, it's usually paving, tarmac, and that's about it, really. Gravel, maybe. Stones. Uh, thanks, Salted Fish. Would you flag a bad customer like us for other people? I, I did, that's exactly what I did, Eugene. Because the funny thing is, this is what, I don't know why I didn't finish the story with this, this is what made me remember it, was because about a week ago, there's a local guy to me that does pressure washing around my area, 
and he put up a picture of the driveway and I was like, I've seen that driveway before, where is that? And I was thinking, I was racking my brains and I was like, oh! so I called him up and I said, yo, is that this address, blah, 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 blah. And he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, don't do it. Basically, she was calling him in to, I think it was to remove some old sealant and put fresh sealant on it. So basically what had happened is they didn't, because they screwed me over, they obviously went with a cheaper company or tried to do it themselves. Um, they messed up the job and then for a year since they've been trying to get it sorted. So they've went to him and said, can you remove this old sealant and put a new sealant down? So they still haven't had the job done. So if they'd have just said to me on the day, don't worry about it, we'll pressure wash the driveway, we'll give you a bit of extra money to say sorry for wasting your time, come back in a week and please seal the job. I would have been like, sound as a pound. And they would have had a lovely driveway still to this day, but no. Yeah, so that was a nice bit of karma. That's what reminded me of that. Brilliant. I had a big smile on my face when I called him up and I said, don't do it. So don't, if you do, charge a ridiculous price because they're gonna, there's a very good, and no, not charge a ridiculous price, but get them to pay for it all up front um, because you've got to be careful with them. Sorted fish, $13.37. Thank you very much, mate. That's very kind of you. The, uh, the elite number, thank you. I really appreciate that. Let's help one person a day. Thank you very much. KP's here, hello, how are you? PLG Dante, I must say it's hard to understand you, especially when you talk a little bit, fast. sorry. I do slow my words a bit as well, I do apologise. Cindy says, Tracy had a question about a degree sustain on a window. Where is that? I've missed it. Could you send it again, Tracy? Sorry, I've missed it. Uh, can you recommend the best tool? Any you think is best? Best tool. I don't know. Pressure washer. You still doing window cleaning? No, not really anymore. Uh, what is tarmac? Tarmac is asphalt, isn't it? That's what Americans call it. Sid, I've added my comment again. How do I remove degrees of stains on a window? Degrees of stains, so not grease stains. So you've put degrees on the window and it's stained it. Uh, so it'll, it'll, it should look probably a bit yellow, shouldn't it? Um, I'm not sure. How do you get rid of that again? I'm not sure. I don't know. Someone in the chat, any of the window cleaners out there? Um, help Tracy out because I've forgotten. I've always just made sure that I've never let it stain and never left it on too long because I've heard that it stains. Um, yeah, yeah. anyone in the chat that window cleans, let me know because I'd like to know. Liam says, have you cleaned any resin driveways? Someone told me not to pressure wash them. You can pressure wash them, yeah. Um, it's no harm, you just need to really rinse with them because they hold, the, hold a lot of water in them. Um, but you definitely can, but you probably will need sodium hypochlorite as well and a lot of it. Is that someone again? Thank you, Mandy. Mandy's, yeah. Go on, Mandy. Got rid of the uh, spammers, well done. Thanks, Eugene. Oh. Thanks, Sharon. This is random. Well, not really, because it's pressure washing. I like it when the driveways are those big chunks of weeds and grass. Yeah, I search for these jobs all the time. If I, trust me, if I could do the most disgusting job every day, I would because we've made brilliant videos, but they're, they're surprisingly hard to come by. They really are. Uh, epoxy flooring, they can be really cool looking. Yeah, I've, I, I do like the look of that. I want one of the tables, I do. I do really like it. Ungar rub out would help with window stains, yeah. Yeah, it would actually. Black top. Ever do jobs in Scarborough? I've never worked there. Probably would though, if the job was decent enough. What's the smallest job you've been asked to do? I've been asked just to clean like steps before, like someone's steps. Um, and I have blocked the spammer, by the way, but they've just come back on a different account. So, yeah, it's a brand new account, that is. It looks the same, but it's it's brand new. Um, gone through, try UPVC cream. Yeah, something like that should work, shouldn't it? How long are you doing pressure washing YouTubes? Coming up to two years now. Hello, Luan. Nice to see you here, Luan. Would you turn down a job if the drain is really bad? Nah, never turn down a job. Um, Never, unless I knew I would, I would cause damage. Um, but there's, there's ways to deal with drainage. It's just, it's difficult when you don't expect it. So if you go into the job knowing the drainage is bad, you work around that and it's not a bad job, but it's when you get caught off guard, when it looks really good and, uh, and it's not, everything's already blocked up by the time you get there or, you know, stuff like that. Side comment, your beans are adorable. Hello Shane, 
Thanks for reporting that comment, by the way, guys, as well. Thank you. Thanks, Francis. Mon Monica says, never knew your name was Sid. Yep. Sydney, actually. Sid for sure. Iron says, do you clean cars too? Um, yeah, I can. It's another thing. I don't really, um, I don't really get offers. So, yeah. So, for anyone watching, I always forget to mention it in the videos. If anyone needs something cleaned and you're in the UK, just let me know because I can probably clean it. Uh, I think a lot of people think like I don't travel for jobs or anything, but I do. I always do. Now you have the setup in your trunk, you can attach a worm nozzle and clear. Yeah, I could do actually. I could do. Yeah, I think I'd probably want to do a course beforehand though, or go do like a day with a, a company, because the last thing I'd want to do is cause any damage. So, um, yeah, I feel like a bit of a noob just buying the nozzle and, and going straight in because I, I reckon I'd screw something up for sure. I really would. And this toilet blast through the roof of the house or something. Do you feel like a pressure washer? Rockstar. No, let me see. I've got my Metallica shirt on there. You should do a collab with Drain Addict. I'd love to. That'd be amazing. I really would. I wouldn't. He's too funny for me though, man. I'd feel like really on the spot because he's just naturally a, a funny a funny guy. So I'd be like, oh man. I'd be, I'd be like boring standing next to that guy. He's great. Have you cleaned your neighbour's houses? No, I live on a new build estate. Nothing needs cleaned here yet. Favourite ride at Disneyland? Uh, we couldn't go on many rides because the kids are like this big. That's how tall my kids are at the moment. Um, so most of the rides we couldn't actually go on. But uh, the one we did is like a train and like fire comes up and water comes down. I forgot what it's called, but that was fun. Uh, surprised how many landscapers don't even consider drain. Oh God, tell me about it. Tell me about it. Oh, sorry, it was Barn Scotch for Babies. Oh, yeah, no, nah, super cute. What's your favourite things to clean? I like doing the playgrounds. Very, It's probably the hardest thing to clean, but I enjoy it the most. Uh, how much is an average job ballpark? It's like the saying, how long is a piece of string? It's, it varies. Um, pressure washing wise, if it's like a three car driveway, 200, 250, 300 at the most usually. If it's just a small driveway. Um, but again, things are going to have to go up and I have to, again, also for me, I'm not the best person to ask because if I see a job and it like, I'm thinking that's, that's a YouTube video right there, I'll do it loads cheaper. I would say to because I say, if it's okay to film, um, I'll do you a bit of money off kind of thing because this is like a fun job and I think I can make a cool video out of it and I can offset the costs then, so. Um, B! Get out. Anyone up my shorts, man? Uh, do you enjoy indoor cleaning? Don't get to do much of it, but yeah, I wouldn't mind it, especially in the winter. Is there a chemical or technique that remove old oil stains? Old oil is the problem there. Uh, when it's old, it's kind of really leached into the into the stone. But try oil remover and a nice hard scrub. Um, heat as well will help. So if you don't have a steam cleaning unit, boil the kettle. Oh, <laughs> that will help. And you, you'll just have to go over and over and over again. You'll probably never get it perfect, but it will look a lot better. Controversial topic. No, I don't watch football, Iron Fan. I don't really... I haven't watched it since I was a kid, to be honest with you. I'll pretend I'm a fan when the World Cup's on, but that's about as far as it goes for me, unfortunately. I'm more into my UFC. I put a quote in for an industrial storage unit, Sid. Would you want in if it pulls through? Great video. South East, all metal cladding. Yeah, man, hit me up. Hit me up. I'll be up for it. Did you do the Wild West show at Disneyland? I think that was the one, wasn't it? The Wild West. Is it like the train that goes round? It might have been that. Yeah. It was good, though. What would you clean inside a house? I don't know. Wouldn't mind doing a bit of carpet cleaning. I'll just buy like a... I can just buy the setup for it and do that. That might be quite fun. Maybe I'll do that in the winter this year. Just test it out, maybe. I don't know. Did you do a collab with Ricky from Bournemouth? Yeah, one day, one day. Cindy says, do you ever get a storage unit? Yes, I've got one. It's just a small one. It's quite big, actually, but it's not like the one I've shown on the video at all. It's literally just a storage. It's basically a garage. Uh, but it's all right. It helps me keep my kit safe. It's locked up on a secure place. So, um, yeah, my kit's all safe. And it's only about 10 minutes, 15 minutes away from the house. So it's not too bad if I need to get more equipment out. Uh... What training do I need to start a pressure washing business? None. You don't need to actually do any training at all. But if you find someone local to you, not too local, you can probably offer maybe to go for a day, do a day's work with them and just see what to do on an average job. 
um, that might help. Um, but pretty much everything you need to know is kind of on YouTube, really. The main thing is take a lot of extra precaution when you're going to start using chemicals. So maybe look, go on a chemical course or something like that if you wanted to. Uh, Monica says, absolutely love the videos when you see the real colour of tiles. For example, when the tile turned out blue after clean. Yeah, th those are my favourites as well. Um, I love a nice transformation. I really do. Yeah, it's good. All right, I might head off, guys, because I actually oh, see that mess behind me. I've got to try and sort that out. Uh, as I say, it's fine Dutch, but new grass. Now I'm digging up the garden because I'm going to put a shed in and, uh, and some deck in. So big turf piles that I've been sweating moving all day. Uh, before I go, I'll answer these next few. Thank you everyone for tuning in, it's been awesome. It's nice to see everyone again. I'll try and do these regular again if I can. Um, do you ever get a customer asking to help out and learn? Yeah, a few customers get stuck in. Uh, I, I enjoy it when they do as well. I'll be like, do you want to have a go? And they're like, yeah, and they, have a, they have a quick blast, it's fun. Uh, Scott says, love your accent. The only time it's hard to understand when you're excited because I speak faster. Yeah, I know, sorry about that. I have a tendency to talk really fast when I'm excited. Thanks, Elizabeth. Thanks, everybody. Thank you everybody, it's been really cool. Thank you everyone for donating, thanks everyone for tuning in. Thanks for the likes, I'll have a video up, maybe tomorrow. Um, there should be a few out this week because I'm traveling around doing loads of jobs, so I should have quite a few videos up this week, maybe three, if I pull my finger out, as they say. So yeah, thanks everyone, I will be off now. Lovely to see you all, love you, bye bye.